What's up creators, Taylor Lewis here from the Film Creator Pro team. Check out the latest video we just dropped in our online filmmaking course. Enjoy. Making content is hard work, whether it's a film, a commercial, a mini documentary, or whatever. However, the more work you do at the very beginning of this process to define your vision, the more smoothly things will run during the actual production. The tools we use to visualize our shots, and really most filmmakers use, are these. Lookbooks, shot lists, and storyboards. Now I'm going to say up front that you're not creating a rule book that you absolutely have to follow. I mean, you can do that, but you don't always have to. I mean, we don't. It really just depends on what you're shooting. Like if we were doing a mini doc, we'd probably just make a lookbook and call it good. But if it's more of a high-end project like one of our Amazon gigs, we would probably do all three steps. Then there are times where you skip the lookbook and just do a shot list. All right, number one, lookbook. In filmmaking, a lookbook is a collection of photos selected as visual references to express the director's vision for the look and feel of the film. These images can express the type of lighting you wanna use, the actual shots you wanna get, the style of the location, all the way down to the type of wardrobe you want. Pretty much anything that will be shown visually in the final video, you can show visually in a lookbook. Here's a lookbook we put together for a mini doc we made of a windsurfer. See, it's just a selection of pretty images that we wanted to try and mimic as we were shooting. In fact, for this shoot, this is the only step we did. We printed these pages out, laminated them, and every so often during the shoot, we referenced them to make sure we were getting what we wanted. Number two, shot list. The shot list is just a more detailed version of the lookbook. What you do is go through the script and plan out every shot you wanna get. And yes, I mean every single shot from beginning to end. Now, if your video doesn't have a script and it's more of a run and gun style shoot, you can still make a shot list. It just might not be as detailed as one where you have a script. Now, as for detail, you can go as deep as you want with your shot lists. I've seen people break down the shot they want, who will be in the shot, where it takes place, the props they will need, the type of lighting they want. They will even list the gear that they will need for that particular shot. We don't normally go that detailed, um, we kind of do like a kind of a happy medium. Now what we typically do for smaller shoots is we make a shot list inside the notes app of an iPhone. That way we can share it between the three of us and we can check off shots as we go. For larger shoots, like something we do for Amazon, we would make storyboards, which is a mixture of a lookbook and a shot list. Usually to make an effective storyboard, you need to first make a shot list and a lookbook, then convert them into storyboards. Think of a storyboard as the graphic novelization of your script, where each panel represents a new camera angle or a key movement in the action. Each image on your storyboard needs to include enough information that someone who has never read your script can look at it and know what's going on, but shouldn't contain too much information because that will crowd out relevant details. There's a, there's a little gray area in there and that's where you operate. The traditional way to make storyboards is to hire a storyboard artist to sketch out every shot and scene. This can cost anywhere between $500 and $1,000 for a short video. Now, depending on your budget, this might not be an option. So another thing that you can choose to do is to take pictures on your phone and use those as the storyboard frames. This might be a little less professional, but still gets the job done. Okay, so those are the three tools that you can use to visualize your shots. Now, like I said at the beginning, you don't always have to use each one of those tools. Just use the ones that make sense for what you're doing. All right, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching everyone. If you want to learn more about filmmaking or pursue a filmmaking career, please check out our online course, Film Creator Pro. In there, we have over five hours of content. We'll share with you everything there is to know about filmmaking, like how to direct actors, how to write, sound hacks, lighting hacks, pretty much anything you need to know. In our opinion, it's a pretty rad course and we would love for you to be a part of it. So please check it out at filmcreatorpro.com. And while you're there, sign up for our free 40 minute training where we share our top 10 secrets to a six figure income. And don't forget to do that YouTube thing to like, comment, and subscribe. We're done. I think I got it. Wrapping this thing up.